Right, so we're recording. So thank you for being here with me. It's lovely to see you. Um, so today we are going to be focusing on rosemary oil. And rosemary oil, we're going we're gonna to talk about it in firstly in a physical way and how it benefits us physically. And then I want to go through a little bit of the emotional support it comes with. And then also I'm going to do, we'll kind of practice a little acupressure point with the oil whilst uh, repeating some affirmations as well. So rosemary can support us physically in lots of different ways. Um, one of the main ways that rosemary can support us is for our memory. So I want you to, if you've got the oil with you, grab hold of the bottle and just open the bottle and just place it under your nose, close your eyes and just breathe in a few breaths of that and then take a couple of drops in your palm and rub your hands together just so that you get the aromatic compounds going and then cup your hands in front of your nose and your mouth and inhale it and just feel the difference of it once you've rubbed your hands together how it really ignites the aroma of the oil And just experience the oil and just notice how it makes you feel. So with rosemary being a herbaceous um, oil, it is renewing for our system. So it can be very uplifting. Um, it's very good for concentration. So if you're studying, learning, listening, trying to do work, Diffusing rosemary can be really helpful for concentration. And for us ladies, as we get a little bit older and we go down the road of perimenopausal, menopausal, postmenopausal, or even actually if you're um, if you have young children like myself and you feel like you're getting brain fog or you forget things, rosemary apparently, when you inhale the aroma of it it can improve your memory by 75%. So quite powerful for our memory and our concentration. Um, you can also apply it topically to your tummy for digestion support. You can apply it diluted to your muscles with peppermint to relieve tension in the muscles. Um, it also helps to reduce nervous tension and occasional fatigue. So you can have it in warm water. So really nice with peppermint. A drop of rosemary and a drop of peppermint together in warm water is really lovely to reduce nervous tension. So it will calm the nervous system, but it will also renew us and um, uplift us. So um, give us some a little bit of energy when we're feeling fatigued. And then it also is really good for respiratory um, support. So if you suffer from asthma or you're suffering from any kind of coughs or cold, you feel like you've got congestion in your chest, it's a really lovely oil to apply the, to the chest along with eucalyptus or peppermint again or wild orange. So rosemary is one of the oils in the On Guard blend. Mm. So um, it's one to, uh, to keep um, at hand at times of, of change of season as well. It's really good for that. So I wanted to also just, um, I was going to share my screen and just show the chemical constituency of it. So just bear with me. So in doTERRA, we have this, um, it's basically the chemical constituency wheel. The chemical property wheel so you can see and I've talked about this a little bit with regards to emotion so all of the oils are basically split into different groups so you've got the calming oils which are basically all of your floral oils then you've got the renewing oils which are mostly the herby spicy oils then you've got uplifting oils which are citrusy oils You've got the soothing and warming oils, which are, are more kind of like your clove, your, your hot oils like oregano. 
and then you've got your energizing oils which would be like your minty oils so like peppermint spearmint um fennel things like that so rosemary comes under the renewing section so that's when we inhale the aroma of the oils it literally can feel like you're renewing your energy levels which is is quite nice and like i said it's really good for memory and concentration so i just wanted to to share that with you and then i want to talk a little bit about the emotional support and this is kind of one of the main reasons why I'm sharing this oil as part of our kind of first session together with these weekly simple daily practices is because at the moment we're kind of, especially in the UK, we're transitioning into different stages of the restrictions. So things are starting to open up a little bit. We're all being integrated back into society and this can bring up a lot of emotions anxiety um you know i was with someone yesterday who literally has just seen her two children and her grandchildren this whole last year and i was just chatting to her and she was saying how nervous she was about going out and about and being around other people and being in shops and you know just integrating back into society and you know you might be feeling this slightly you might be feeling this quite intensely um so i'm sure all of us have got some kind of underlying anxious feeling about how things are going to change what life is going to be like um and also i think unfortunately you know with social media we've seen that lots of people have lots of different opinions <laughs> which have been shared on social media and you know you may have had conversations with people on social media that have caused a little bit of a fracture in your relationship. So it might be quite nerve wracking seeing those people again, because you know that you have different points of view. Um, so, and I just want to remind you that it's okay to have a different point of view to other people. We don't all have to agree what's right and what's wrong, you know, and that's what Rosemary is really, really good for it's basically the oil of knowledge and transition okay so what that basically means is it is reminding us of our own intuition our own power and to kind of stand in remembrance of ourselves basically so i want to just read to you a little bit about rosemary from this book if you have not got emotions and essential oils book yet i would highly recommend that you get this there's also an app that you can get on your phone if you don't want the book, uh, which is really easy to use. So this book is all about the emotional support that the oils give us. So Ro Rosemary assists us in development of true knowledge and true intellect. It teaches us that we can be instructed from a far greater space of understanding than our human mind. So to me, this oil reminds us of connecting to a higher power basically you know that that we are a part of something much bigger and that we are a tiny little speck in this universe and rosemary reminds us that we all connected to each other um you know with the universe and that we are basically all connected with this energy you know we aren't separate but unfortunately, in the society and the culture that we live in, it makes us feel like we're separate. OK, so basically it challenges us to look deeper than we normally would and ask more soul searching questions so that we can receive more inspired answers. So to me, that is connecting in to your true self. Yeah. OK, to your own essence, to your own power, to your own intuition, if you like. So whatever is happening on the news, on social media, whatever, I don't know, Gary's telling you, <laughs> um, come back to yourself. You know, especially, you know, with us ladies, there is nothing more true than our gut instinct. So whatever you feel about anything that's going on in this world, trust your gut instinct. Come back to trusting in yourself instead of trusting in what everybody else is, is telling you. 
So Rosemary assists us in times of transition and change. So this is all, you know, we've had a whole year of transition and change, but it's all changing now. So we're starting to integrate back into society. So this oil is going to be really, really helpful in supporting you in feeling confident in yourself and having trust in yourself. Um, so basically when we're having difficulty adjusting to a new way of life, um, a new relationship, this oil can assist us. It teaches us that if um, we do not understand all things because they have a mortal perspective. So it invites us to trust in a higher, more intelligent power than ourselves. And it supports us in feeling confident and assured in times of great change in understanding and having perspective. So Rosemary roots us in our true knowledge that surpasses all understanding. So it goes back to that gut feeling, basically. So how can you use this oil to support yourself in transition and change? How can it induce confidence? Um, it also induces the ability to adjust, um, open to new experiences, feeling more enlightened and having mental clarity. OK, so the negative emotions that this oil can support are when we're feeling confused when we're having difficulty adjusting or transitioning into a new way of life, um, having a limited perspective, and when we have difficulties taking in the change, basically. So how you can use this, you can inhale the oil from your palms. So I've actually got a little rollable that I keep on me now. You can diffuse it in your home. So I really love to diffuse rosemary with wild orange. So wild orange is uplifting, rosemary is uplifting. It's a really lovely combination. And wild orange is also another oil that reminds us of connecting back to our own power, our own essence. So rosemary and wild orange paired together is lovely. I'm having a smell of it, Jenny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're nice together, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Kind of so orange sweetens it a bit, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's quite nice. nice. Um, so you can just diffuse it and inhale it from your hands. You can also take it diluted and rub it on the nape of the neck as well. It's really good for relieving tension. So I like it with peppermint. It's a really nice combination to relieve tension in the neck and shoulders. You can also apply it across your forehead as well to relieve tension and really good for our memory, our concentration, and then also behind the ears. Now, the reason we would apply oils behind the ears, and this is something I've learned recently, I've been working with a couple of people who want to stimulate or activate their vagus nerve. So your vagus nerve is basically connected your brain to your gut, but then there's lots of different things that come off of the vagus nerve. So it's a really important nerve in our system. And it's basically what calms our system. So, you know, when we um, talk about meditation or yoga, activating our parasympathetic system, that's what the vagus nerve is there to do. So to stimulate the vagus nerve, which will help to reduce nervous tension in your body, at the point behind the ear is it gets really close to the, the vagus nerve. So you can apply the rosemary oil to behind the ear. Another really lovely practice that I've actually just started doing in the last few days is um, Elena Brower, who is our kind of big mentor in our big doTERRA family. She has um, like a monthly team call, which you're all very welcome to join, by the way. She is so inspiring. She's also a yoga teacher. And she has a podcast as well, which is for kind of biz growing our business. But it's also open to all of anybody in our team. So even if you're not growing a doTERRA business, it's still really interesting to listen to her calls because she kind of gives some oily tips as well. I was listening to them in my car yesterday and she spoke about um, how to stimulate or basically reactivate your adrenals. So if you are somebody who is feeling really tired at the moment, 
Um, you feel like you are on edge all the time, which a lot of us are, let's face it. Um, you feel like you're not getting enough proper sleep and you just feel generally fatigued. So our adrenals are little glands on top of the kidneys. So if you were to go into, I can't, can't see my waist, but if you were to kind of put your hands into the smallest part of your waist and then bring your hands around the back, that's roughly about where your kidneys are. I don't know if you can see my hands, but your kidneys are about here on your back and your adrenals sit on top of your kidneys. And a really good practice for your adrenals to support them is applying basil oil because that basil is the oil of renewal. So it can help to support your adrenals. But rosemary oil applied to your adrenals as well, it can actually stimulate your adrenals and get them working again if they kind of feel like they've fizzled out. Mm -hmm. So if you're feeling really tired, really stressed, anxious, maybe try applying rosemary oil diluted over your kidneys for a week and just see if there's any difference or shift in your energy levels and it might help. I know I tried it the last two days and I didn't feel like I got that kind of afternoon slump of energy um, in the day. So it seems to be working for me. So that's a little practice that you can practice with rosemary as well, um, putting it just over your kidneys to support your kidneys. So that's some emotional um, support for you. And then I've got this other lovely book, which is Gift of Essential Oils. And this has got a little bit more about rosemary that I want to read to you. So rosemary is the oil of knowledge and transition. And basically her gift to us is remembrance. Okay. So rosemary is an activator helping us to engage and to bring focus and clarity and to enhance our memory and our mental aptitude. She improves our ability to access and awaken otherwise dormant areas of our brain. A popular term is rosemary for remembrance. So they quite often use rosemary in um, funeral ceremonies and rituals. And she will keep the memory of the departed alive or remind you of the timeless loving bond that keeps you connected, which I thought was really lovely. Um, on a deeper level, Rosemary reminds you of why you chose to incarnate in this life. So she is a crown chakra essential oil, which we're gonna practice in a minute. So your crown chakra is on the top of your head. So we're gonna practice putting it on there in a second. Um, and basically, when it's applied to the center, it basically helps us if we're trying to escape from our physical reality. And it basically helps to support us in connecting back to our spiritual um, or um, spiritual essence, if you like. So it reminds you that you have chosen to come into this physical realm to have a physical experience and to remember your purpose and the joys of the generous and succulent present moment. Behaviours such as avoidance and escapism can be changed by working on a deep level with Rosemary to remember the soul's contract in this lifetime and to return to alignment with your life path. So this would be quite good for you, Jenny, at the moment, as you kind of change things up. Um, so it helps us, it enhances our memory and it also helps to access wisdom um, of our past lives and our future lives as well. So it's a really good time um, of a good oil to use in times of change. It also is a fantastic oil for cleansing and clearing space. And it also offers protection, warding off negativity of people, thoughts, words, and deeds. And they say, <laughs> I read this actually, when I did an earth medicine course, um, I think it was when I was pregnant with Tallulah actually. Um, and it basically, they say that a good witch keeps a rosemary bush by her front door to ward off bad people and bad spirits. And it says it in this book as well. So it basically says that it is common for, to many of us that every good witch has rosemary by her front door, right near her letterbox, by her front entrance, because it's a plant's magic act as a powerful ward against any destructive or untowardness, anything that would bring pain, contraction or loss. 
<laughs> so I thought it was quite interesting. I'm just about to plant loads of rosemary down my front path, actually. Quite amusing. So an affirmation that you could say to yourself when using rosemary is I'm clear in what I want in life. So a really good one to use in times of transition and change. So it gives us expansion, protection, and it reminds us to connect back in to our own power and our own intuition, basically. So it's a really lovely one to, to work with. And then um, this actually has a couple of um, diffuser blends. So there's a memory enhancer diffuser blend, which is rosemary, eucalyptus, lemon and lime. So equal parts of those. So use rosemary as an aromatic anchor each time you need to recall something. Eucalyptus will enhance concentration, while lemon and lime will improve focus and motivate you to get it done. And then there's also another one, um, who am I? So rosemary, bergamot, coriander seed and Roman chamomile. And this is to activate your courage to be who you truly are with this blend. So ro rosemary brings remembrance, bergamot re uh, relishes rediscovery, coriander seed promotes integrity to help you stay upon your path, and Roman chamomile brings tender tenderness when you slip up, and a sweet reminder to keep exploring. This blend works best when the aroma surrounds you continuously for several days. So if you're on a bit of a soul searching journey, that's quite a nice diffuser blend to use. So then lastly, I want to do a little practice with the oil on an acupressure point. So you can either apply this neat or you can use um, it diluted. It doesn't really matter because we're putting it on the crown of the head. So to find the point on the crown of the head that you're wanting to, to, to utilize, this point on the top of the head is called C, uh, GV20. And it's also known as the 100 meetings. And basically what, what it does, when you press this point, so if you bring your thumbs to the tops of your ears and then your two middle fingers, that point where your fingers meet, that is your GV20 or what's also called the 100 meetings. So this point on your head, when you even just press it gently with one finger without any oil, it calms the spirit, it nourishes the brain, it benefits all of our senses, and basically all the, the head um, and neck in general, and it also subdues yang energy, so masculine energy. So it helps us to connect in back to our feminine energy. So what we're gonna do is get some rosemary oil. So I'm just gonna use it neat on one of my fingers and then just do the same thing and then leave just one finger relax the shoulders close your eyes and just take some nice deep breaths so applying rosemary onto this point will further aid us in gaining perspective of our situation and our life. This is a really lovely practice to practice when your experience lack or lack of self-belief, when you're feeling fearful, critical or judgmental. And you can hold this point for one to three minutes. If your arm or your shoulder starts to hurt or get tired, you can just bring your hand into your lap. And I'm just going to repeat a few affirmations that we can say to support us in this time of transition. I allow myself to be and feel whatever comes up. I stay present and I listen to my body. What does my body need and want from me right now? My body is an intelligent consciousness 
and I'm always listening to her. I always trust whatever is happening in my now. I don't doubt it. I don't have to like it, but I trust it. I never make anything wrong. I may not like it. I may not feel comfortable with it. It may not feel good in the moment, but I do not make it wrong. I trust that everything is happening in my now is absolutely allowing me to shift into a higher state of consciousness. I follow my resonance more than my logic. I know I am guided and protected. Whatever it is I am going through, I never do life alone. I am always supported. I choose to create my own reality and not let anyone else create it for me. I am in charge. I choose my thoughts. I choose to believe the messages that I am receiving. I choose to believe that I am not blocked and I am not unaligned. I know that I'm here for a reason and that everything in my now and everything in your now is shifting you and me into our reason, into our divine blueprint, into our purpose and into our mission. And then just bring your hands in front of you again. You've probably still got some rosemary oil in your hands. Just cup your hands over your nose and mouth. And let's take three deep breaths together. Take a full breath in. Exhale. Take another full breath in through your nose. Exhale. One more nice deep breath in. Exhale. Just bring your palms in your lap facing up. Keep your eyes closed for a moment. And just notice your experience that you had with the rosemary. So having that gentle pressure on that acupressure point with the oil, did you experience any physical shifts in your body? So you may have felt your body taking a sigh, you may have started rocking from side to side. Just notice if you had any physical or emotional shifts. You may have felt something quite strong, you may have felt something quite subtle. There's no wrong or right. And then gently opening your eyes coming back to the room. So thank you for being here. I'm just going to stop the recording.